really like my new house, but that's not to say that there aren't a few things that need some attention. At the very top of the priority list is the sump pump. I need to take care of that before it drives me insane. The issue isn't the pump itself, but rather when it shuts off and the check valve shuts, there's a very loud banging of the discharge pipe, which is directly below the master suite. In the springtime, when the snow is melting and it's raining a lot, it runs every 60 seconds, maybe 90 seconds, uh, two minutes minimum. And I think it might actually be louder upstairs than it is downstairs. Here is a demonstration of sorts from my paranormal activity cam. We've had a little break in the precipitation lately, which gives me a chance to switch this out. So the hose that you see running is just coming from the water heater so I can fill it manually for testing purposes. But normally this time of year, I wouldn't be able to have this apart and disconnected for more than say 10 minutes. Before I switch it out though, I'm gonna take some sound readings to get some uh, before and after measurements. I'll be pointing the microphone up towards the top of the wall, which is the floor of the bedroom. That registered 59 dB, which is not that loud. It's actually not even as loud as a normal human conversation. However, in the middle of the night, that's loud. And even though the pump itself registers about 57, you really can't hear that upstairs. You hear the pipe because it's running up the wall towards the floor of the bedroom. So now I'm taking a reading upstairs from the bedroom. And I did hear the pump go on and it shut off. And I heard the bang, but it didn't actually even register on the meter at 50. And just because it doesn't register on the meter doesn't mean that I can't hear it, because I can. And it doesn't mean that it's not driving me nuts, because it is. So here's the new check valve that I got. It says, actually it doesn't say anything, you have to read it. It reads, the quiet check valve. And no other markings on it, like a manufacturer or a brand or anything, so apparently it's just the quiet check valve. I got this from Amazon, and the reviews were very good. Apparently it's completely silent. The operation of this is uh, exactly opposite of what I thought it might be. There's a spring on the flap that appears to make the flap shut more quickly than your standard check valve. And I was thinking originally on the standard check valve that the noise was coming from the flap shutting too quickly, but now looking at this, that's not the case. Also looking at the shape and volume of the interior here, that probably has something to do with quieting it down as well. I think I got a C- in fluid dynamics, so I'm just guessing at this point. And this doesn't have uh, rubber couplers. This uh, has threaded PVC connections on each end with uh, collars on each end that need to be solvent welded. Of course, with this kind of setup, you need to remember to make sure to put those threaded retainers on the pipe first before putting on the solvent welded collars. Otherwise, you'll be cutting the thing apart and putting it back together with couplers and a few more mistakes later on. Next thing you know, your entire pipe is composed of nothing but PVC couplers. Don't ask me how I know. Taking another reading with the new check valve now. 
now when that shuts off, it seems to be pretty much silent, at least in the basement anyway. That click is the float switch opening, which I think is now the loudest part of the system. Because the meter didn't register upstairs, even with the old valve, I'm not going to use the meter now. I'm just going to listen. While upstairs, I did hear the pump go on. When it shut off, no bang, no thud, no clunk, nothing. I'm going to conclude that my scientific approach was a fail. However, it's possible I wasn't using the optimal settings on the meter. So my conclusions are not based on scientific readings, but rather just my own auditory observations. And in a situation like this, that's what really matters. This solution actually exceeds my expectations. I was hoping for just a significant decrease in the thud noise, but it's completely gone. Bonus. <laughs>